Now let us discuss this problem. So we have a mixture of FeO and Fe2O3. So initially we have a mixture of FeO and plus Fe2O3. And the mole ratio is 2 is to 1. So this is 2 mole and this is 1 mole. So this mole ratio is given 2 is to 1. Now this mixture by oxidation has been changed to mole ratio 1 is to 2. So FeO plus Fe2O3. The now mole ratio is 1 is to 2. So this is mole ratio is 1, this is mole. So you see Fe3 plus, in this case iron is in 3 plus, iron is 3 plus. So ratio of iron 3 plus has increased. So this means some of the FeO has been reduced and uh, sorry, some of the FeO has been oxidized and that's why you have Fe2O3 percentage has increased. This means if I take initially 1 mole, so let us say initial mixture is 1 mole, so you will have initial 1 mole mixture. So, if I have initially 1 mole, I can write mole of FeO initially 1 mole of mixture. So, I can write what is the mole of FeO. So, now I can write mole of FeO. This is equals to 2 is to 1 ratio. So, 1, 2 by 3 mole. Are you getting or not? So, this is 2 by 3 mole. Now similarly I can write mole of Fe2O3, this is 1 by 3 mole, are you getting or not? Now finally the mole ratio is 1 is to 2, now let us say this has x mole and this is, so total mixture is let us say x mole I have or I can say, uh, let us say uh, finally, final mixture contains x mole both FeO contains x mole of FeO plus Fe2O3 are you getting so this means what is the mole of FeO so finally mole of FeO this is only 1 so this is x by 3 x by 3 what is the mole of Fe2O3 so this is 2x by 3. So, this is 2x by 3. So, mole of Fe2O3 is 2x by 3. Now, one important point, this mole plus this mole will not be equal to 1. So, initially you have 1 mole of FeO plus Fe2O3. If you oxidized, you will not get this, this plus this 1 mole. Of course, they will ratio in 1 is to 2, but some will not be equal to 1 mole. But we can apply atom conservation. Total iron atom this side is same as total atom iron atom this side. This means I can apply atom conservation for iron atom. So, let us apply atom conservation for iron. So, if I do this, now what is the total mole initially? So, I had 1, one mole of FeO contains 1 mole of iron. So, 2 by 3 into 1, 2 by 3 into 1 and here 1 mole contains 2 mole of iron atom so this means this plus 2 into 1 by 3 and the finally what you have here you have x by 3 and here you have 2x into 2 so 4x by 3 so what you will have you will have 4x by 3 this side 4 by 3 and this side you will have 5x by 3 so this means x is equals to 4 by 5. So x is equals to 4 by 5 mole. Are you getting or not? So this is the final mole, total mole. So what is the mole of FeO? So x by 3, that is 4 by 5 divided by 3. So this is 4 by 15. And this value is 4 into 2, 8 by 15. So 8 by 15 mole. Are you getting or not? So this is the 4 by 15 mole. And this is the 8 by 15 mole. So what do you have? Initially, you have a mixture of FeO and Fe2O3, FeO plus Fe2O3 and finally again you have mixture of FeO plus Fe2O3. In this case, mole of Fe2O3 is 8 by 15 and this mole is 4 by 15. You see, 8 plus 4, 12 by 15, this is not equal to 1. And now, initially you have FeO 2 by 3 and 1 by 3. So, this is 2 by 3 mole. And this is 1 by 3 mole. 
Now say heat of formation value is given for FeO this value is minus 65. So this value is heat of formation value if I write here. This is minus 65 for FeO and I will check for Fe203 that is minus 197. So this value is minus 197. So FeO minus 65, Fe203 minus 197. So let us say what is the energy required to produce this mixture that is 1 by 3 mole of FeO. So energy released in this case minus 2 by 3 into 65 plus minus 1 by 3 minus is because of this minus into 197. So this is the heat content of the initial mixture and what is the heat content this means this much amount of energy is required to form this mixture. What is the energy required to form this mixture? So I will have 4 by 15 into minus 65 plus 8 by 15 into minus 197. So let us put this minus 197 here. So we can calculate this value. Let us calculate this value. So if I do this one, so I will have 2 by 3 into 65, 3 into 65 plus so this uh, plus I will have 2 by 3 into 65 plus 1 by 3 into 97 197 197 197 into 1 by 3 so into or I can divide simply divide it 3 are you getting or not so this value it will come into minus 2 by 3 into 65 so this is 109 so heat contain this side i will have 109 kilocalorie this is minus minus 109 let us calculate this side what will this value so you have minus 4 by 5 into 65 4 by 5 into 65 and then plus 8 by 15 oh my god this is 15 not 5 so this is 15 so this has to be 15 are you getting so this is 4 by 15 so 4 by 15 divided by 4 by 15 into 65 plus 8 by 15 into 197 197 so this value is minus 1 to 2 so this is minus 1 to 2 kilocalorie per mole now we can make the potential energy diagram to understand so let us say we have initial mixture heat content of initial mixture is so this is initial mixture minus 109 kilocalorie so this is initial mixture 1 is to 2 ratio and the final content heat content is minus 1 to 2 so this will be somewhere so this side we are plotting heat energy now this is this value is minus 1 to 2 so let me write here so this value is minus 1 to 2 kilocalorie so this means if this mixture goes to this mixture this much amount of energy is really this is more stable this is less stable so this much amount of energy is really how much energy so this is 1 to 2 minus 109 this is the energy should be released so this value is 1 to 2 minus 109 so this value is a 13 kilocalorie are you getting or not so this is 13 kilocalorie energy is released 13 kilocalorie energy is released now this is not 13 kilocalorie let us check the answer so we have this is 13.4 as this is this mistake is here we have taken this value is not a prox exact value this is 122 is approximate value if I do the calculation exact this will come out to be 122 so I have done this calculation 4 by 15 65 this comes out to be 122.39 so this calculation is 122.39 and corresponding if I do this calculation exact I will get the exact value 13.4 kilo so let me write this is 122.39 and this is again 122.39 so this is I can write it here so this is 122.39 I have to draw it here also 
in that case we will get the exact value so we will have 122.39 this means 122.4 so around 122.4 and this will come out to be 13.4 kilocalories so this is the amount of energy that is released so I have to write a minus sign so 122.4 so amount of energy released so 13.4 kilocalorie energy is released energy is released are you getting or not 